Orbilius Magister asked recently whether I could do a video looking at word painting in songs. Word painting is when the meaning of the lyrics is expressed in the music itself. It's also referred to as prosody. A classic example of word painting is... Or what about when the melody follows the same direction as the lyrics? For example... A slightly more sophisticated type of word painting is when, rather than the melody following the lyrics, the chords follow the lyrics. A timeless example of this is Cole Porter's Every Time We Say Goodbye. As the lyric sings from major to minor, the chord progression does just that, moving from major to the parallel minor chord. But how strange the change from major to minor. Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen is another classic example of this. The lyrics to the first verse are actually describing the functions of the chords that we're hearing. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall. An example of word painting that non-Spanish speakers might have missed out on is Despacito. Despacito is the Spanish word for slowly, and sure enough, when we hear Despacito sung, the tempo temporarily slows down. These are all fairly obvious and straightforward examples of word painting, but word painting can be a lot more nuanced and subtle. For example, some writers don't just try to express the lyrics in the music, they try to express the greater themes of the song. In Riders on the Storm by The Doors, the keyboard player Ray Manzarek imagined his classic Rhodes line as sounding like raindrops. And here's the rain part. Thunder. After we finished the song, he said, Oh man, I've got super rain and thunder. It's riders on the storm. It's raining on the desert, right? Yeah, exactly, Bruce. Raining on the desert. He said, We've got to put in some, uh, uh, some rain and thunder. So sure enough, I mean, the whole thing starts with... And then that bass line... A very subtle but beautiful example of word painting is the melody of Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. In many ways, the main melody mimics the story of The Wizard of Oz. We start with a big octave leap away from home, up to somewhere that seems like home, but isn't quite the same. Somewhere. So this is Dorothy being swept up from Kansas and dropped into Oz and then the rest of the melody is spent winding its way back down to where we began, back to the root, because after all... There is no place like home. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up there's a
So you might be thinking now, surely this is overstretching a bit. Didn't Harold Arland just write this melody because he thought it sounded good? Surely there's no deeper meaning than that? Well, you could say that, but don't forget that this tune was written explicitly for this film. Just like how John Williams will be thinking about the characters in the films that he scores for, so was Harold Arland when he wrote this song for The Wizard of Oz. Some songwriters have actually used word painting for comic effect. F10DA is a great example of this, where Ben Folds has taken advantage of the names of the notes in Western music to hide a dirty lyric in plain sight. F in the A with a D. F in the A, F in the A with a D, a D, a big fat D. the A was I really felt like the album needed um, a uh, it needed an educational angle um, for kids to learn the scale degrees and the notes at the same time as they learn some bad language so I want to teach the kids how to cuss and I want to teach the kids what notes um, they can cuss from like theoretically correctly a similar example is I bought a flat guitar tutor by 10cc but rather than matching the notes of the melody to the lyric like Ben Folds did, 10CC have matched the chords of the song. Major catastrophe It's a minor point but G In a flat by the sea Once you're aware of word painting, you might start spotting it everywhere. You raise me Word painting comes in all shapes and sizes, so any examples that you have, put them in the comments below.